Hey there, it's Darth Blint, and uh, today I want to talk about be a legendary pilot. Be a legendary pilot. What do I mean by that? Well, I woke up this morning, getting ready to get my steps in, and then take my shower, the power goes out. So, you know, I, all right, I'm going to still get my steps in, make some different stuff blind, man. We got my grandmother hooked up to a generator machine for an auction machine. You can hear that going now. And then the people show up with their new fridge. And so I quickly dump everything from the fridge into boxes and they change the fridge out. But anyways, that's been my morning. And so while I was doing all that, I started thinking about be a legendary pilot. Because Tuesday in my political science class, we have a person who was in the Air Force for four years. And he's now come back to college to get his classes, uh, to get a degree. Good for him. I'm happy that he did that. Thank you for serving the country. Hands down. And so he was talking in class. He sits behind me, the row behind me, and he was talking. And we, I got there like 20 minutes early, and we were talking. And he started telling a story as a pilot. He's like, you know, I heard him talking to the person sitting next to him, and then I got in the conversation. He's like, you know... He's like, yeah, you know, I served as a, you know, a mil in the Air Force for four years as a pilot, yada, yada, yada. And he goes, you know, there's really two types of pilots and they test you and they make you to find out which type of pilot you are. And it's like, and it's okay if you're not, you know, if, if you're not a legendary pilot, but they need to know before they send you into combat. And I was turned around. I was like, what makes a legendary pilot? And he goes, you know, anyone can learn to be a pilot. And we just we do need regular pilots in the military and life everywhere. But what makes a legendary pilot is flying into storms. Can you handle the storm? Because when you fly into a thunderstorm, you've got loud sounds. You can't see. You have to go purely off of your, your navigational tools. And... A lot of people freak out and panic. They can't see where they're going. They can't see what they're doing. You know, they're surrounded by mist, but, you know, within a huge cloud. Um, and the wind, they have to fight the wind because when you're up that high, you know, you could be flying straight and all of a sudden you're hit with 70 mile per hour wind heading straight down. And that's going to, whoo, like pull you down. So you have to monitor your everything. And you have to fight against the random forces of nature that are literally trying to push you out of the sky. And um, so, you know, flying through into a storm and through a storm or in stormy weather is what makes a legendary pilot. And I was I was thinking about that after he told the story and I was like, you know what? That is the total. That's that's true with every aspect of life, you know. One thing that I've learned from reading the Stoic, um, you know, the, the, the book, you know, of Stoicism is, you know, let's imagine that you're a pilot. In the book of Stoicism, they talk about being, you are the captain of your own ship. Well, and this, I'm using the same scenario, but as a pilot, you know, like you're a pilot. What do you need? One, you need a destination. And two, you need to be able to be a legendary pilot. And if you can't have those two things, you will probably fail. You know, some people are like, oh, the weather's too bad. I'll just wait till it gets better before take off. Or, um, you know, I just don't think I can make it through. That's a long flight. Or, you know, if you're just up in the air flying around with no destination, then what are you doing with, in life, you know? Like, you have to have a destination point. If you don't have a destination point, you won't succeed in life, period. Why? Because all you're doing is reacting to temporary stimuli, and it's controlling your fate. You're not controlling the fate. The fate's controlling you. Or the temporary stimuli is controlling you. And so, that really struck home with me, you know, like, because people all the time say, oh, man, when, when, when my schedule comes down, then insert whatever. Or, oh, when, you know, once I get this, then 
this will happen. Once A happens, then B will happen. Well, why? Why do you have to wait for A before you can have achievement? Why can't you do that now? You know, you everyone wants to wait for calm weather before venturing out. But here's the thing, though. It's good to become a legendary pilot. It's good to fly through the storm. Why? Because it trains you on how to fly through the storm. They can't. You can't get trained to to fly through a storm. You can only have firsthand experience of training of flying through the storm. You know they can't simulate that. They can't simulate the weather patterns of that. Maybe in a video game, but but that doesn't really translate to you know our reality, whether that be another simulation or not. But beyond that, I mean, think about it. You have to be willing. To be comfortable with uncomfortableness. with You have to be willing to be at ease with uneasiness. You know? If you can't get to that point, then you've just locked off infinite amount of opportunities in your life. Regardless to what it is that you want to do in life, you've literally just torn yourself away from the prospects of achievement. Due to self-doubt. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm not able. I'm not capable. Good for you. You know. If you don't want to be a legendary pilot. Then get out of the way. And quit bringing other people down to your level. You know. Surround yourself with legendary pilots. That's all you can do. Is surround yourself with people who push through the storm. Because if you don't. You'll get drugged down. People will drag you down. You have to surround yourself with those who you want to, who inspire you to, to fly through the storm. And it can be, life can be tough, you know, let's, you know, for, you know, you I have an aunt who moved to another state on her own for a job. That had to have been tough. She went there not knowing anybody, working a job that, she had just started after moving there and starting a new life. That's scary as hell to do on your own. I can only imagine how scary that was, but she did it. She flew through the storm. She got out to the other side. She's got a comfortable life now. Things are going great. She flew through the storm. You know, there's many examples of flying through the storm. And you have to be willing to do that, you know, for, you know, performing in public, going busking for the first time. Holy shit, was I scared? Yeah. Why? Because I was nervous about, am I going to mess up? Am I going to, people are going to laugh at me? Am I, I going to suck at this? But you know what? I flew through the storm and now it's second nature. I have zero anxiety about playing in public. I have zero anxiety about... Getting up, you know, getting up and talking with people who are listening to me play between songs. Zero anxiety. Why? Because I've come, become comfortable with my craft. I've become comfortable. I've flown through the storm enough times that I've gained experience of flying through the storm. I mean, ultimately, if people could... I, I oftentimes think if people could... Follow their passions without any fear for just one year. How different would their lives be? Just have zero fear of failure, zero fear of doubt, zero, zero fear of what ifs, and just did it. Followed their dreams and passions to a T without hesitation, without fear, without anything. How different would their lives be at the end of that year? How different would they be? How Where would they be yet? Because 365 days of fearlessness traveling and, and following your dreams, that's that could literally be life-changing. Um, by the way, I'll be playing outside of McKee between like 1.30 and 2.30-esque today, unless I get done early and I, I ditch out. But... Just, yeah, so that's the message for today is be a legendary pilot. Be okay with being uncomfortable. Be okay with pushing forward through things that make you feel uneasy. Because that's how you...
become strong. You know, diamonds aren't made uh, just, you know, willy-nilly. No, they're made from being able to be harnessed through pressure, intense pressure, an intense, like, co yeah, combination of carbon. But it takes pressure to make a diamond. Okay? And, and you have to be willing to accept that. That's the difference between being a pilot, which we are all pilots of our lives, and being a legendary pilot. Which are you going to choose to be today? Are you going to be legendary or just another pilot? This has been Darth Blint, and may your chains be broken.